We're in Cambodia! Bong chow chet sarang nyom at Rum rum! Here we go! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> we're in Cambodia! So, we're in Semri, Cambodia, and we're uh, we've already been here a couple of days and we already did Angkor Wat tour yesterday but we didn't film because we wanted to soak it all in and learn about everything before we do our own movie. Today we're entering Angkor Wat through the east entrance. Uh, pro tip for all those that want to go for a sunrise viewing of Angkor Wat, go to the west side but not the west entrance. We'll put it on the screen where exactly where we sat and mm -hmm. what we saw but uh, there's basically no one there and it's quiet and it's still just the views just as good the views amazing yeah usually what people do is they just go inside of Angkor Wat um, because they see everybody else doing it <laughs> but yeah. because we had an amazing guide he showed us that you don't have to do that to have a good view uh, we didn't get any footage with him yesterday I think, but our guide yesterday was super knowledgeable, so we'll try to teach you guys a little bit about what he said. Follow us to Angkor Wat. Bong chow chet sarang nyom at. Yes, I like it. And here's a here's a quick look at the entrance of the east side. It's not as grand. I think one of the reasons why they stopped this because everyone's recording but they stopped this because they had a, a big camera and a microphone they, made, they told us to put the microphone away yeah but literally there's a guy walking with a camcorder there's a lady walking with the gopro everyone has a phone recording and talking to it but uh they singled me out because i had the the microphone on the camera i had all the history memorized so if you guys want to talk about it <laughs> Just hit us up. <laughs> All right. Bye bye for now. See you on day three. Hey, Bong. Oh, you're so alive. You're so alive, honey. Oh, Slarin. Oh, Slarin. Want to say hello for YouTube? 
ฮัลโหลจมรีบสูบบ้องสบายอาคุณทรานเราจะไปกินอาหารเย้ไปซ้อมสุดเย้ไปซ้อมสุดเย้ไปซ้อมสุดเย้ไปซ้อมสุดเย้ไปซ้อมสุดเย้ไปซ้อมสุดเย้ My class. We're in our first classroom from the day, and we start our day with Nick Bro Mukim. Hi, hello. My name is Mukim. I'm teacher in SFK, and Julia, Jeff, you know, good students. I'm so. But then when we come, we can say Samoy. Yes. Without so. Samoy, Sami, Samoy, Bas. To have another language is to possess a second soul. It says on the door. So I have many souls. <laughs> they say, they say you have a different personality for every language you speak. So I'm developing a new personality right now. <laughs> we just finished Khmer school, and now we're just gonna have a chill day today because if we had all this ankle w a t walking and busy on the weekends, so now we're just gonna um, yeah, have a reset day. And I love that we have our bikes. It's so cool. We can just drive around, be independent. It's awesome. Yeah. So now we're on the way to find a place to do some laundry. Just gonna do some upkeep. Um, and we'll show you more about what we do here in Sem Reap. Talking like we live here. <laughs> we live here for two weeks. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, time for room tour. We are in Main Boutique Hotel and Spa, and uh, I forgot what we originally booked, but they because we stayed here for two weeks, they upgraded us to the Royal Suite. Okay, this is my side. This is my stuff. Typical girl nightstand, full of things. Which is really amazing, and I've never experienced this. Is they make up our room every time we leave the room. So usually we go to school, we come back, we maybe take a nap, and then uh, we leave the room again, and then we come back after activities or pool time, and our room is made up again. And then at night time, when you come back and you go to sleep, they make up the room or the bed so that you can like snuck in immediately. Like they fold over the edges. It's really sweet. We have a little coffee and tea station, a little mini fridge full of things that we don't want to buy because they're pricey. And here's our <laughs> batteries from our bikes charging, which is pretty funny. I've never heard of that—that that you can just charge an electric vehicle battery in your room. It's pretty cool. Uh, I wish we had something like that in Berlin. We would have gotten out much more. I feel like. Um, little desk, 
the lounge. Woo! So this is why it's called the garden view suite. Furniture is really hot. That's cute though. It's nice, nice vibes. Yeah, our balcony is facing the street and uh, it's actually no noise. Uh, it's a side street. I think it's a dead end actually. Um, but there's absolutely no noise other than dogs and cats fighting. Yeah. Uh, and the rain and thunderstorm. But look at this view. It's amazing. There's a full garden view. They water the plants multiple times a day. You got these coconut trees. It's amazing. This is our bathroom. We have a nice walk-in shower, giant tub, and these his and her sinks, which I love. And one day they even put lotus flowers in our sinks, and that was really sweet too. Yeah, we like the flowers, but we need to use the sink, so we transferred them to one sink. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they were nice when they put them in, but I now they're looking a little wilted. <laughs> Look at this giant tub! You know we have to do a sit test. Wow! I'm a tall person. This is a really big tub. So as you can guys can tell, this hotel is really nice. I mean, it's welcome cocktail and cold towel when you arrive, kind of nice. We wanted to have a pool and Jeff, especially this one. Thought it was very important that we have a nice relaxed two weeks before we go on to travel in uncertainty about how things are gonna look and feel. Yeah, and here are my bags. Julie's bags over there. If you'd like to see a packing video, let us know in the comments below. We'll, uh, we'll show you what we're carrying. Show you guys how, uh, how it looks like to load this battery into the bike. So you just open the seat. So you take the battery, line it up in the slot. Good. So I'm just gonna try to do everything one-handed here. A little bit of feet content for you. I wonder if we should have unplugged those chargers. Unplugged it. Oh, they're unplugged. Great. You're a good one. Of course. She's a good one. Everybody knows. Mine lays in hot right now. Okay. A little bit of a instructional video for you guys. Um, yeah, to operate this, it's like any other scooter. But for those that don't know, here's the uh, throttle. Uh, front brake, back brake, you got your light controls and your signals on the left, a little honk as well. Um, also a honk on the right side, you also get your front lights over here on the right handle. And you got these pedals, but uh, I don't think they do anything. Maybe they, they charge the battery a little bit, I read online that you can pedal for a bit to get some more juice out of it if you're desperate. But yeah, the key goes down here in the front, give it a little twist, and it comes on. Now when it's on, it's an electric bike, you won't hear anything. You just uh, use this throttle here, boom, whoop, 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 whoop. and we go. Right behind you. All right, here we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And here in Cambodia, what they like to do is just turn and drive on the left. And then 
we merge onto the right. Yeah, but these bikes are as fast as like a small engine scooter. It's crazy. Oh, tip is to uh, from the bike shop. Always turn off your engine before you get off the bike. Because a lot of people apparently accidentally get off the bike and throttle. Um, and throttle by accident. And send their bike flying off. So just turn the bike off and then hop off. Alright, so now we're just going to try to find the shop owner to help us do some laundry. So today, bang, some bulk out ban day. Ban? Mui kilo of man. Mui kilo, one mui real, mui dollar. Okay. She says one day because today it rains. Oh, no worries. But, so we wait one day. Hanung Mao Wings Ike. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Everyone's so friendly here and always smiling. New day. New day. We're gonna try and get out to the temples to show everyone a little bit more in details what's there, um, and also just take the day to go out riding. It's pretty fun to drive around out here, yeah. and hopefully we it doesn't rain on us. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna film in the temples. Yes, our this is our cool day in Simri school, and then temple tour. Mm-hmm. So let's go. Okay, yeah, so we have a bit of a problem. We lost our Anchor Wat ticket and we need to buy new ones. Another thirty-six dollars down down the hole there. Look. Look at these young monks. We we learned from our uh, guy the other day that every every young man uh, has to be a monk once in their life. Hello Liv. Hello Liv. So today. Stomach. This is the no, this is the hole in my stomach. This is the lock lock. Perfect fit. Alright, so we got a little bit of good news for everybody. We were able, we were able to buy the tickets online. Here we go! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh no, I just felt the raindrops. Oh, it's getting dark and hopefully it doesn't downpour. <laughs> so even though it's not raining, I'm actually pretty glad I uh, put on the rain jacket and the hat here because the extra sun protection is makes it look a little bit more bearable to ride. And I'm about to run the red light. Oh shit. Oh, he's running it too. All right, we'll be fine. No popo -po behind us. I mean, this is the wet season and it's just so beautiful and green and lush. Uh, many of the locals that we talk to, both in Thailand and Cambodia, uh, prefer the wet season because just how beautifully green it is. And also how much cooler it is. So glad we're renting these e-scooters. Okay. 
Akan bang. Yeah, so this is the main road that goes up to Angkor Wat. Uh, it's pretty much straight the whole way as you can see. There's another side road that's the left, that's west of here. Oh shit. Oh man, that dog scared me. That was a bear. Oh. They have this replacement bridge, which kind of feels like you're on a giant floaty when you walk on it. This is the original bridge. It's probably prettier to walk, but they're restoring it. So we go with the floaty. Royal entrance. Bayan Temple. I'll forever remember this temple as the one that flipped my knees. Like you go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down over many rocks and it's quite exhausting for the joints. Yeah, need to work on that. It's getting chilly. So we spent some time at um, Angkor Wat and then we went by on Temple and then we wanted to replicate our tour we did with San and go to Taprom, which is the which is the Tomb Raider Temple. Oh here you can see another nice view of Bayan Temple because it's one way and they make you go around. That's beautiful! Prasad! Prasad Sa'at! Good idea, as always. Why did Jeff always have to be so logical? Damn. Follow me. Follow me. Me. Oh yeah, I want to check out this temple. Another time. Another time when we come back with all of our family. <laughs> That's gonna be nice. Bye bye on Temple. Yeah, so we, we skipped on Taprom, uh, the Tomb Raider Temple, because they said it's gonna close in half an hour. And we have some footage we're gonna show you that we did on the day we did the tour. Uh, but also it seems to be more of a hassle to get shots. Oh, look at all these kids on their bikes. Um, to get shots and honestly, I think we might have not seen all of the temples here. No bike riding etiquette here. Um, but I'm still happy with what we've seen so far. This trip is an amazing, amazing privilege to be on. I'm forever grateful to get this opportunity. Oh, 
another nice Buddha and demon bridge.